Hey, what's up? So this is a Windows 11 portable. I know it looks exactly like normal Windows 11, but there are actually huge differences between normal Windows 11 and this portable Windows 11. I have made a two videos on this topic before. So if you want to learn how to create and install Windows 11 portable, you should watch those videos and I will actually make a playlist for Windows 11 Portable. There you will find all the videos related to Windows 11 Portable. So this video is going to be on what is Windows 11 Portable and what are the differences between Windows 11 Portable and normal Windows 11. Let's start this with real spicy stuff. The main difference between Windows 11 and Windows 11 Portable. These are the system requirements for Windows 11 Normal. And these are the system requirements for Windows 11 Portable. Windows 11 Portable doesn't need secure boot, TPM, or 8GB of RAM or faster CPU. It can be installed on any computer. If you want to install and use Windows 11 but your PC isn't supported, try Windows 11 Portable. It's really good because again these are the system requirements. And maybe some of you guys may think that it's modified version of Windows 11 or something like that. No, it's totally official. No modification, no TPM or secure boot bypass. We did nothing. So now let's talk about what is Windows 11 Portable. I created Windows 11 Portable using a feature called Windows to Go. So this is actually a Windows to Go Windows 11. And sadly, Windows to Go is a discontinued feature. Microsoft discontinued this feature back in 2019. But the good news is that it still works which makes Windows 11 usable on any computer without secure boot, without TPM or without high-end PC. Yeah, this Windows 11 portable is actually amazing. Now let me show you guys some other differences between Windows 11 normal and Windows 11 portable. So here we have the Windows 11 portable. You can't tell by just looking at it that it's Windows 11 portable. But if I download this application and open this up called PC Health Check, okay, this is the application which checks the system requirements for Windows 11. If I click on check now, you can see um, I don't have TPM and my processor isn't supported for Windows 11. So I can't really run Windows 11 on my PC, but this Windows 11 that I'm using on my unsupported PC is actually a Windows 11 portable. So here is the another example. If you go to the about device, if you have installed a normal Windows 11 on a unsupported PC in about section, it will give you a warning message that your PC is not supported. But you can see here, this is the unsupported PC and there is no message saying that your PC is not supported because it is a Windows 11 portable. And again, as I said, these are the system requirements for Windows 11 portable. You don't need anything that Windows 11 normal requires you to have. It's totally different thing. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, you'll get all the Windows 11 updates without any problem. And again, no errors or no message saying that your PC is not supported because it's a Windows 11 portable. So it is still a Windows 11, official Windows 11 with no modification or nothing like that. We are just using a Windows to go feature to convert Windows 11 normal to Windows 11 portable. So the system requirements changes and then Windows 11 can be used on any computer. Yeah. It's, it's brilliant. So this is how I created a Windows 11 portable, which works on any system and it is official. You know, everything is still a Windows 11, but the system requirements have changed. That's all, yeah. <laughs> so another great thing about Windows 11 portable is that you can use a local account. 
by default. If you don't want to use a Microsoft account, then yes, you can say I'm using a local account. I don't have Microsoft account linked. So if you want to use Microsoft account, yeah, you can also sign in with Microsoft account. But I know some people just like to use a local account on their Windows computer and Sadly, Microsoft is forcing Windows 11 users to use a Microsoft account. But if you use Windows 11 Portable, you'll have freedom to choose between local or uh, Microsoft account. I think that's it. These are some huge differences between Windows 11 Portable and normal Windows 11. But if you still have any question about Windows 11 Portable, do the comment. Uh, and yeah, let me just give you a little bit more info <laughs> again windows 11 portable is still a windows 11 official no modification no nothing like that okay it is still a full-fledged windows 11 just like a normal windows 11 yeah everything will work just like a normal windows 11 you'll get updates and whatnot this is like the best version of windows 11 you can use on a unsupported hardware or even if you want to use it on a supported hardware because you like to use a local account or maybe some other reason then yeah windows 11 portable can be used on any computer you just need to understand one thing this is still a windows 11 official okay so I think that's it. I'm talking too much. <laughs> As I said, if you have any questions, do the comment. I'll reply you. And that's it. I will put link in the description for a playlist for Windows 11 Portable. You can go there and watch all the videos related to Windows 11 Portable. And I will actually make a full tutorial on how to create and install Windows 11 Portable. Yeah, just one video. As of now, I have two separate videos for creating and installing Windows 11 Portable. So as of now, you just need to adjust. I think in coming few days, I will make a proper one video for installing Windows 11 Portable. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.